first we should know why the name is given. The first thing is you should know why the name is given. In case of colloids, we have lyophilic colloid. Lyo means solvent, philic means loving. So we have a lyophilic colloid which is loving solvent. Example for that lyophilic colloid is acacia in water, gum in water. If you add gum in water, what happens? It will become glue like. Hence the name collides. Collides means in Greek substance, in Greek what it is? Glue like. In Greek word collides means glue like. Remember Greek word collides means glue like. Glue like substance. There glue like. Okay. In another word collides means scientifically it is expressed. Nomenclature is this one. Why the name is given this is the reason. But scientifically we also call anything which falls between 1 nanometer to 1 micrometer. Any particles or emulsions or suspensions or anything which is falling whose particle size is between 1 nanometer to 1 micrometer. Above 1 micrometer we call them as cores. It is called your collides. Two definitions are there. One definition is glue like substance. Another definition is any powder or uh, suspension or emulsion, emulsion also. If in emulsion, if the globule size is 1 to 1, 1 nanometer to 1 micrometer, in that case we call that emulsion as nano emulsions or colloidal emulsions. So in another word, collides means particles which are in nano size. What is nano? 10 to the power of minus 9, micro minus 6. Particle size between this, we call it as collides. Jump into this. So how to understand this is collides. Take, um, I will explain like this. Coarse particle, okay, not coarse, larger particle, okay, next. Yeah, so larger particle is being converted into smaller particle and further converted into fine particle. Now, in this fine, I will take one particle, I will start removing the particles from the fine, I will start separating them. Eventually, I will be left out with what? In a chalk piece, what I left out with? Nothing else. See, these people are one particle. I will separate them. Eventually, I will be left out with one gun. In chalk piece, what is that gun? What is Yeah, very good. What is that molecule? Not atom. Don't go to atom. We we'll go till molecule. What is that molecule in the uh, chalk piece? Calcium carbonate. So I'll be left out with calcium carbonate. So that is a one way of understanding. Another way is take a molecule, benzoic acid, start adding molecule. Eventually we'll get small particle. This is your collide. Next, even further if I add, I will get large particle. This is coarse. So, colloidal particles are particles which are having size between coarse particle and molecule. They have size between coarse particle and molecule. These are the colloidal particles. What are the characteristics of these colloidal particles? So how to characterize them? First characteristic is size.
ओके लिजन नाउ आई वॉन्ट यू पीपुल टू यूज यूर सो मच वैल्यूबल ब्रेन ओके यूज इट विल सी Who is having more surface area? Small part. Good. Who is having more energy? Gibbs free energy is equal to surface tension into area. We studied this in interfacial phenomena. Ah, uh, who is having more energy? Who is having more area? Area is more means energy is also uh, simple related. Okay, larger particle one two smaller particle. This is colloid. Now when I put light, first we will see the basics of the light. Okay, so light uh, starts from. with gr okay uh, violet violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red who is having more frequency this guy is having more frequency who is having uh, if frequency is more what happens to the wavelength ah uh, less wave length the frequency is more what happens to energy <laughs> hmm if frequency is more what happens to the energy e is equal to h nu ha ah. more energy so violet is having more frequency less wavelength and more energy opposite to red red is having less frequency more wavelength and less energy now if i put the light white light means with gr all combined together is white if you separate them they will show their colors okay so if i put this light on to coarse particle which color it will reflect or which color it will be showing up to me he is having more energy or less energy so he will absorb more energy or less energy less energy so he will reflect more energy whatever i am saying please learn this okay this is called application of basics you know basics whatever i am saying you need to apply that learn it carefully okay listen again i will tell you tell me the color of this one okay larger particle is having less energy because he is having less energy he will also absorb less energy because he is absorbing less energy so he will reflect more energy what is the color of larger particle violet or blue something violet he may reflect this side indigo violet or blue okay something vib anything it will violet indigo blue any color we assume it has violet apply this concept to this one so colloidal particles will be in which color red color if i take colloidal solution the solution will be in red color if that colloidal solution change to violet color what do you mean by that it is stable or unstable unstable colloidal particle is said to be stable only when the particle size is 1 nanometer to 1 micrometer 
if they aggregate see this is a colloidal particle this is a colloidal particle they form flocule if they form flocule what happens to the size increases if size increases energy decreases and the color will be changed from red to violet so this what the characteristics of size size will also have influence on viscosity who will have more viscosity larger size or smaller size larger one larger viscosity means what resistance to flow who will have more resistance fat guy or slim guy obviously fat guy <laughs> you are not together <laughs> okay so viscosity is more for coarse particle and less for colloids next is shape tell me the color see here yeah tell me the color now who is having more surface between this elongated and circular circular is having more surface if surface area is more water pressure surface free energy more more surface free energy what should be the color red so he will be red he will be blue now among this who will cause more resistance to flow this guy elongated substance will cause more resistance to flow so you are having more viscosity this will be having less viscosity we have four classes friday is holiday friday is holiday na no? good friday you don't know i thought of finishing this chapter within this week so whoever is coming late he has to watch my videos anyway you, you won't watch okay next that is the shape characterization what is the next one size shape and surface area ah surface area obviously we know colloidal particles have more surface area last one is surface charge surface charge how a particle will get charge i explained this in zeta potential interfacial phenomena chapter there i explained how a particle will get charge three methods are there what is the first method if particle is having ionizable group if particle is having ionizable group let's say it is having this group this group will be ns2 so it will get negative charge if particle is having ionizable group it will get charge one two very good adsorption whatever the ions present in the solution will adsorb to the particle it will get charge so we have adsorption what is the third one 
difference in dipole moment good you have remembered it difference in dipole or dielectric constant anything the difference in dipole or dielectric constant. okay now tell me listen here listen nothing is there nothing is there I added particle in water. It doesn't have ionizable group. Water doesn't have ions to adsorb. And there is no difference in the dielectric constant also. Then what charge the particle will get? Complex? No, 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 no. Nice try, but think other way. Okay, I will give this hint. Listen, when particle comes in contact with water, water will be divided into H plus and OH minus. Now, who will adsorb more readily? Who is having more energy here? He will adsorb. Obviously, OH. So, if nothing is there, if you are preparing nanoparticles, if nothing is there, there should be negative charge. At least there should be negative charge. If you are adding in plain water, if you are preparing nanoparticles as a formulation, we have with us uh, Marl 1 zeta sizer. Okay. It cost us around 22 lakhs. It will measure your particle size as well as zeta potential. It is there in that R&D lab. It is there. Okay, remind me if I will show you. Chalaman absent to Naru Abignausen. Hey, time and try. Half a start and ends. Half class kada. Then the class will kalpi miko got an answer. Sarana? Ra. Okay. Uh, what I am saying? Yeah, we have zeta sizer. Malvern zeta sizer, you can utilize that if you are doing nanoparticles. You can utilize that. So, this is how the particle will get the charge. But who is benefited from the charge is lyophobic colloid. Why? Next, I will tell you classification of collides. Right now, classification of collides. Okay, whoever is missed, I will come from according to your roll number. Whoever is missed giving the seminar, they have to give seminar. Otherwise, until you give seminar, you will be not allowed in the class. It's compulsory to give seminar because previous uh, some experience says that neither you give seminar, neither you submitted assignment. Uh, so, you escape na. Okay, as soon as I finish first chapter, or uh, yeah, uh, when we reach the third chapter, which is your course, because it is suspension and emulsions, you already know that. You have to give seminar. Each and everyone has to give seminar. At least come and smile here, no problem. But you need to stand here. Learn that you will uh, you'll be void of your, uh, what is that, stage fear. Okay. Show your skills. I am giving you opportunity. I am giving you stage. Stage is yours. Show your skills. Okay. Now listen. Classification of collides. Listen. What scientists observed is when I add this collide to water, depending on the interaction of collide with water, the collide is classified. Water or solvent. When I add this collide to solvent, depending upon the interaction of collide with the solvent, the classification is base. The base for classification is interaction with solvent. The base for classification is 
interaction with solvent. Solvent name is Lyo. Lyo means in Greek solvent. You name it now. Solvent loving. Solvent hating. Third type is there. It has nothing to do with the loving or hating with the solvent. They are associating themselves. When you add them in solvent, they will associate. Hence, the third one is association collides. So, the classification is lyophilic, lyophobic, and association collides. We will see examples lyophilic, lyophobic. Remember, Lyo means solvent. Write down that also. Lyo means solvent. Philic or phobic means loving or hating. Solvent loving or solvent hating. Example for lyophilic. Acacia gelatin albumin and insulin. This is the example for listen. This all are organic compound or inorganic? Why are you are thinking so much? Acacia means polysaccharide. Polysaccharide means sugar. Sugar means carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. This so carbon is there. Organic compounds comes under your lyophilic coli. Phobic. Tell me. Silver, gold, arsenus, silver, iodide. So these are organic or inorganic? Inorganic. Inorganic comes under lyophobic. See. We call it as metals. All are, see, all are metals. So, metal nanoparticle is lyophobic. Why? Metal hates water. It hates solvent. It hates solvent. Okay. In case of lyophilic, if water is solvent, what we call them? Hydro. Hydrophilic. In case of lyophilic, if water is solvent, we call it as hydrophilic. Organic solvent. If water is organic solvent, we can say hydrophobic. But I want in philic. See there, what it is. Very good. Lipophilic. Now we are together. <laughs> Lipophilic. Tell me the example for lipophilic. See, these are our hydrophilic example. Acacia in water, gelatin in water, insulin in water are in example for hydrophilic. Lipophilic. Rubber, polystyrene in what? Solvent. Solvent. In organic solvent. Like benzene. You add rubber or polystyrene in benzene. That is your organic solvent. That is the example for lyophilic. 
लिपोफिलिक सॉरी लिपोफिलिक कोलाइस So if anybody asks you what are collides, you need to say collides are particles which are in nano range. Don't use the term glue-like. Okay? If anybody says you, I am working colloidal formulation, means I am working on nano formulation. That what it is. Remember. So this is the class question. Next, lyophobic. Silver, gold, sulfur, arsenic, etc., etc., in water. They hate what? Can you guess who will form association when? Who will form association when I add that in water? There is someone who will sit on top of water. When the concentration is low, who will go inside the water? When very good, surfactants. So example is surfactants. Surfactants at CMC, critical micellar concentration. Surfactants at CMC are your Association collides. So there are okay. I will go one by one. Lyophilic collide. Lyophilic collide preparation. How to prepare this? Add gum in water. That's all. Simple. Add powder in water. It will form colloid. Add acacia powder in water. It will form colloid. Add acacia powder in water. It will form colloids. So simple preparation. What happens is see here, acacia particle because it is hydrophilic, it will attract solvent towards it. There will be formation of sheet, which is called as solvent sheet. There will be formation of solvent sheet. Now, please don't write listen here. When I am explaining concept, listen. These two particles will not form flocule. They will not form aggregate because they have solvent sheet around them. So particle one is also having solvent sheet. Particle two is also having solvent sheet. So I am saturated. I am fine now. I don't want to go and I have a contact with them. I will not contact because I have solvent sheet. So, due to presence of solvent sheet, they are stable. They are naturally stable due to presence of solvent sheet. What do you mean by stability in collides? It should be in singular form. It should not associate. Destability in collide means that they are forming association. Stability in collide means they are not forming association. So lyophilic collide is stable naturally due to presence of solvent sheet. Due to presence of solvent sheet. So it is very easy to prepare. No problem. Nothing. The problem comes with lyophobic. Next, we move on to lyophobic.
फ्लोफोबिक दिस आर स्मॉल मेटल पार्टिकल्स इन वाटर मेटल हेट्स वाटर मेटल हेट्स वाटर हाउ टू स्टेबिलाईज दम वन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ कोलाइड्स विल स्टेबिलाईज दम लास्ट प्रॉपर्टी वेरी गुड हू सेट दिस चार्ज चार्ज विल स्टेबिलाईज युअर लयोफोबिक कोलाय सी एम लयोफोबिक मेटल नॅनो पार्टिकल अनदर मेटल नॅनो पार्टिकल इफ दे हॅव चार्ज लेट से दे हॅव पॉझिटिव्ह चार्ज चार्ज इज देअर बट फॉर द चार्ज टू कीप द पार्टिकल्स अवे वॉट शुड बी देअर अलॉंग विथ द चार्ज electricity charge will be there and see here charge is there charge want to flow from here to there there should be something then only they will flow otherwise they won't flow very good potential difference there should be potential difference potential difference in nano size is called what zeta potential very good zeta potential potential in nano size we call it as zeta potential so your lyophobic collides are stabilized by surface charges and higher zeta potential they are stabilized by surface charges and higher zeta potential higher zeta potential see if they hate water because they are uh, metals they should settle in water they are hating now water they should settle they are not settling why due to one property they are not settling i didn't said you this uh, yes what happens if i decrease the particle size below 1 micron settling is mainly due to gravity see gravity is pulling it if particle size goes below 1 micron there is no effect of gravity in that case one property comes into picture particle is moving here and there without effect of gravity what is it brownian movement once gravity is not affecting your particle particle will get thermal energy they will absorb the temperature they will absorb the heat by that heat they start moving here and there now while moving they will be colliding like this if they have more zeta potential they would collide they will come near here and they will repel due to this they are stable remember these particles even though they hate solvent they are stable due to brownian movement that brownian movement is due to again charge and zeta potential so they are stable due to brownian movement and brownian movement is again due to charge and zeta potential now preparation how to prepare them very very important questions five marks see i want small particle two meters are there to get to small particle what are the two meters ha huh? size reduce okay if you have larger particle size reduce the larger particle and get a smaller particle if you have coarse particle i can convert coarse particle to smaller particle what we call that method dispersion, dispersion method 
we call it as dispersion method there are two methods to prepare one is dispersion dispersion means large particle to small particle dispersion large particle to small particle babu idi holy offer late vachina allow chestunna tarvata ledu small particle to large particle what is other one large to small what is other one see collide is between molecule and coarse coarse to collide is your dispersion molecule to collide is you can call it as association or condensation condensation we call it as see water vapor will condense on the glass if you see in bathroom when you are having uh, bath if water vapor is there it will condense on the glass what happens that small small water vapor sit and form larger particle this we call it as condensing what do you mean by condensation molecule to collide large particle to collide is dispersion molecule to collide is condensation now dispersion again i have methods tell me milling or grinding then peptidization electric arc ultrasonic who is talking ultrasonic i'll be very fast in explaining i don't know how you write you write you write down if i complete till association collides half chapter over name says mill what do you mean by mill mill means milling english word milling means reducing the size or grinding means also reducing the size we have colloidal mill how it will be i will show you see here there will be two disc rotating opposite to each other like this two disc cars there which are rotating opposite to each other initially separate those disc add your larger particles between the disc reduce the size between the uh, distance between the disc then start the mill then mill will start reducing the size this how you get your colloidal particles so milling or grinding we use colloidal mill colloidal mill there will be two disc rotating opposite to each other between this disc larger particle is converted to smaller particle larger particle is converted to smaller particle so larger particle is converted to smaller particle understood any problem in this milling or grinding next is peptidization clear i have flocules i have nano particles colloidal particles which form flocule they already form flocule to convert this flocule okay ah to convert this flocule into collide i have two methods you tell me what are those two methods we have flocules flocule is formed due to addition of what flocculating agent so remove your flocculating agent remove flocculating agent 
the flocculus will be converted into colloids. What is the another one? Addition of a very good deflocculating agent. That's all. This is called peptidization. Peptidization is a process of converting of. I'll, I'll explain once again. Peptidization is a process of converting of flocculus to individual particles or colloids. Flocculus to colloids. Next is electric arc method. Electric arc method. Listen here. Let's say I want to produce gold collide. I want to produce gold collide. I will take two gold bars or rods. Two gold rods. One rod is connected to negative terminal. Another rod is connected to positive terminal. I will increase the potential. Increase the current. Now what happens? These are dipped in water. If they are not dipped in water, what happens? We'll try to see. Okay. You take your uh, current wire. Okay. When the current is flowing, get the wire near like this. You can see arc. Electricity is jumping from here to there. Chuck. Okay. That arc. That is called as electric arc method. So there will be arc formation. Due to this arc, this arc is having more temperature. It will melt your metal. Listen here. It will convert your metal to vapor. This electric arc is going to convert your metal to vapor. Now I want to capture that vapor. I want to capture that vapor. What I will do? I will dip this in water. I will conduct this experiment in water. So dip the elect, uh, metal rods connected to electrodes in water, increase the charge. When electric arc is formed, metal is converted into vapor due to presence of water that vapor is condensed and that condensed is, is in the form of collides. Write this. Metal rods are dipped in water and connected to electrodes, two terminals. You can write two terminals. Metal rods are connected to two terminals. Metal rods are connected to two terminals. When potential is increased, there is a formation of electric arc. When potential is increased, there is formation of electric arc. There is formation of electric arc. Due to this electric arc, metal is vaporized. Due to this electric arc, metal is vaporized. Metal is vaporized. These vapors are condensed due to presence of water. And condensed particles are in nano range or colloidal range. That's Anybody saw ultrasonic bath in our college? No? We have ultrasonic bath. There will be water in that. When you switch it on, it will make sound. sound. So sonic waves are sent into that. So what is this method is? Ultrasonic means high energy or high frequency sound waves are called ultrasonic waves. Okay, listen here. Don't write. See, see the diagram here. I have particle. When I send high energy waves onto the particle, this particle is converted into smaller particle. And the small particles, you need to send high energy waves until you get particles in colloidal range. When high frequency sound waves are sent upon larger particle, 
due to that sound waves larger particle is converted into smaller particle send this ultrasonic waves until the smaller particles are in colloidal range simple so we'll stop here take attendance madam Thank <laughs> you.